Okay, today in this video, we're gonna be reshafting a set of Mizuno irons. And I'm also gonna talk about why I think that these irons are perfect if you're wanting to get into golf club repair and golf club building. So let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I'm AJ, and today we are going to be reshafting some irons. So I'm gonna go through the whole process, show you what we're gonna be using, show you how to go through all the steps. But first off, I just wanna cover real quick what I said at the top, that being, if you're getting into club building, getting into club repair, that I think a great place to start is with Mizuno irons. The simple reason for that is that when it comes to golf clubs, Mizuno irons are what you see is what you get. They're not gonna throw you a bunch of curve balls it's almost always a very straightforward process. If you go and look at certain irons, certain brands, you're gonna end up having some additional steps that you're gonna to have to take, whether it's you know, the hosel's a little wider than it needs to be for that shaft, or maybe it's got a, a step-down sort of hosel that requires a special adapter or a fitting or a collared ferrule. Just any number of little things that are outside what is kind of the step-by-step -step process of reshafting a golf club. Mizuno, you aren't gonna end up dealing with any of that. It's very straightforward. The hosels are very uniform, so basically you just get the shaft that's the right size, 355 taper tip, put it in that head, and it's gonna be, you know, nine times out of 10, a great fit right out of the gate. So you don't have to worry about modifying anything, shims, special ferrules, pick out whatever ferrule you want, and just go for it. Also, the finish on these. Mizuno, always very consistent in their finishes, either chrome or some sort of brushed finish, but a very sturdy, durable finish. So when it comes to turning down the ferrules, the finishing work, you're not worried about, oh, am I gonna rub that finish off and you know cause a little blemish of some kind. So it makes finishing them very easy. Again, when we get into some of the other brands, either because of the paint they're using or because of the hosel or because of any number of little things, it adds extra steps. And while that's fine if you know what you're doing and you've done this before, if you're just getting into this, it's not the kind of stuff you wanna be worried about right off the bat. You wanna just be focused on you know, getting the big picture stuff right, getting the major steps done correctly. So again, if you're getting into club building, if you're getting or wanting to get into golf club repair, find yourself a set of Mizunos or a single Mizuno irons and really start out with them because it's gonna be it's gonna be sort of the training wheels approach. It's gonna give you the best chance, it's gonna be the easiest process of reshafting, of building a golf club. So let me show you now today what we're gonna be doing, what we're gonna be putting in these JPX irons. Okay, as far as shafts go, these irons we're gonna be switching from these 120 gram dynamic golds into these 95 gram steel fiber shafts. Constant weight, graphite, very good shaft. Should be a good looking combination with these irons. So we're gonna be putting these in, same length as what's in there now, and logo down. So they'll be looking like that when you install them. Uh, along with that, we've got some BB and F ferrules. We're gonna be installing. Look like this, hopefully you can see it with the sort of multicolor teal and white rings on it. Should be a good combination again. And then some simple white Golf Pride Tour Wrap grips that we're gonna finish these off with. So again, everything here, very straightforward. Should be a very simple build, so let's get started. Okay, let's get started. These are steel shafts, so we do not need to use the shaft extractor. We're just gonna heat it and then twist them off. I, of course, am gonna be using safety glasses and I'll need some shop gloves. Just gonna keep the heat moving. This really only takes about 10 to 20 seconds per iron, depending on the epoxy. And that should be about good. And we'll twist. Just like that. And 
let's see how much epoxy is wedged down in there. Okay, these have got these have got a fair amount of epoxy wedged down in there for whatever reason. Did not come out with the head, so we're gonna get a drill. We're gonna get a drill bit and just drill that epoxy out real quick while it's still warm. And then we can finish cleaning it up. brush good switch out my sanding dowel run that around there real quick Ready to go. Okay, we've got everything prepped, ready to go. I've cleaned out the heads, used some acetone on them so they're ready to go. We sanded out the inside of the ferrules, we prepped the tip of the shafts, we cut the shafts to length, we weighed all the heads, we also went ahead and took some swing weights, measured everything out. The set is going to have, I think, a really perfect uh, swing weight progression. It's gonna be a little bit lighter in those long irons, a little bit heavier in the short irons. That's, that's exactly how I always like it. I think that's the best combination you can have. So that's going to be perfect. At this point, we are going to mix up some epoxy, get everything set, let it dry, and then we can come back, grip them, turn down the ferrules, and these clubs will be ready to hit.
Let's go, four iron. Again, when we're putting in epoxy, we just want to use enough to coat all the surfaces. That's it. Don't glob it in there. Oh, forgot my ferrules. Assemble these. A couple spins. Tap them down. You can hear it when it gets fully set. The sound is slightly different. And then we're going to line that up. We'll come back in a minute and make sure they're all straight. For right now, we're just gonna set that there. Give it a quick wipe. Okay. Epoxy is dry. All we've got left to do, turn down the ferrules, put the grips on. So I'm gonna turn down the ferrules first. As far as the grips go, we're gonna be doing two wraps of tape and we're putting them on with compressed air. So I'm gonna break out the tire inflator, put those grips on, and these clubs are gonna be done.
right, the Mizunos are all finished. We've got the ferrules turned, we've got the grips on. And since we did them with compressed air, we could go hit them right now. But, uh, well, it's nighttime, so we won't do that. And they're not my clubs. But I think these clubs turned out really well. Again, Mizuno irons, very straightforward. So if you are looking for a golf club to sort of dip your toe into club repair, I would say a Mizuno is never a bad option because it is very straightforward and it's not really gonna throw you any curveballs in general. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please go down below, like, comment, and subscribe, and make sure you hit that bell icon so you'll be alerted when I post new videos. Remember, I do have now the additional Elite Fit Golf YouTube channel. If you haven't checked that out yet, please go over there, check out my first video, and there'll be a lot more videos coming. I am on Instagram. You can find me at Mobile Club Maker, and I will see you on the next video. Take care.